Lens. Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to do a few majorette moves. So I'm going to teach you how to do a butterfly, a flatter and a pinwheel. So if you do majorettes or you think that you could start, then um, these are some great learning tips for you to get started on before you enter your troop. So first, a um, butterfly. So all you need to do is put your right hand in the middle of your baton and your left, sorry, no. Your, left, your right hand in the middle of that and your left hand on top. And all you want to do is spin your baton to where your thumb is. So just go like that, you need to spin there. Grab it with your thumb and then put the rest of your fingers on the baton and then let go with your right hand, I'll put your right hand there. Then spin your button, round your back, get it with your right hand, and then put it down. <coughs> so, I'll do that really fast for you. I'll try again, so put your right hand, left hand, thumb, fingers, round, catch, down. Right, left, thumb, fingers, round, catch, down. Okay? So now I'm going to show you how to do a platter. So if you put your, if you get your right hand in the middle and get a stirring pot, you're going to pretend to mix the stirring pot. Then you're going to get a bit wider with it. So you sort of like that. Sort of like that. And take away your mixing pot and get wider. So it's even wider. And then loosen your hand up. So right now your hand's like really firmly on it. If you just like loosen it up. And maybe sort of like, like that. Maybe just loosen. So re realistically you're only using two fingers. Do that again to get your mixing pot. Look up wider and wider, loosen it up, and then you finally get to a pot. <coughs> so now a pinwheel. So this one is kind of the same as a platter. So basically. All you need to do is, so it's basically like the platter, because you platter you're doing it horizontally, but the pinwheel you're, you're doing it vertically. So if I sort of like do my platter, I can, so this is the pinwheel, and if you look at it from a different angle, so if you look at it from like, um, how it's really difficult to do. If you look at it from, so if you show this, if you look at it from that angle, it sort of looks like a platter. Um, so a bit, you just need to do a platter with your fingers, and then you just need to like, so maybe just start practicing with it like this, and just go. Maybe just to get used to going like. So practice with your hand really tight and just go just like that. Yeah. Then get looser. And as you get you looser, your hand automatically goes in that position anyway. <coughs> <coughs> I'm not the best at teaching pinwheels, but you know, it's really hard to teach. So because we've only just started this video and I've done and I've gone through the moves quite fastly, I'm going to teach you maybe how to do a throw up. So with being able to do a throw up, you are able to do a one spin, two spin, three spin. Um. So if you get your baton, and all you need to do is just throw it up in the air. Some people, like beginners, they have it with two buttons and they throw it up like that. 
You can do that, but it's better to do it with one hand. Let's get your back one like this. Put it at the side of you with your right finger down. So your back is on the back of your arm. And throw it up and catch. Okay? So do, by doing that, you're able to do one spin like this. You're able to do two spin. And you're able to do three spin. So, but don't go for the one spin straight away. Just keep practicing the throw up. And when you get a certain height on it, which is high enough for you to spin underneath it, you are able to do your one spin. And then when you've done your one spin and you've got it really perfectly, you can throw it up even higher and straight. And then you can start spinning twice. Then you can throw it up even higher and start spinning three times.